Rachel Young and I work at the Salado Wildlife Education Center. Thank you so much for joining me and my friend here for my feature feature on one of my favorite groups of animals, snakes. Today I have a northern pine snake with me to show you guys. If you've been to the Salado Center before, you have probably seen this girl in the exhibit hall next to the black racer. This northern pine snake is really uncommon in the state of Kentucky, but they are one of our bigger snakes, reaching lengths of up to six feet, which is about as big as the black rat snake gets. But these guys are uncommon for two reasons. They're found in only three areas in Kentucky, land between the lakes, Mammoth Cave, and then that southern portion of the Daniel Boone National Forest. The second reason they're uncommon is because they live the majority of their lives underground. If you take a good look at her real quick, she's equipped for this lifestyle for two reasons. Her nose is really blunt and that's really good for digging her burrows. Second, these scales are rough. It's probably hard to tell through the phone, but the next time you're at Salado, check, look at this snake and compare it to the black racer. The black racer is much more smooth, whereas this girl has really rough scales and that gives her some extra protection for when she is burrowing underground. Now, she lives most of her life underground, so what does she eat? Her diet's gonna mainly consist of rodents. When she comes out from underneath the ground, she may try to take something different, maybe a lizard, maybe some eggs, but for the most part, she's gonna focus on rodents. Now, their habitat is in their name. They're called the Northern Pine Snake. They like to live in pine forests, and that lines up pretty well with the three places in Kentucky that I told you that you can find them. Now, she is non-venomous. If she were venomous, I would not be holding her. But if she feels threatened by a predator, there are two things that she's gonna do. The first one is gonna be, she's gonna hiss really loud, and I have heard her hiss, and it is very loud. The second thing she's gonna do is she's gonna rattle her tail in the leaf litter or on the ground, and it's gonna sound like a rattlesnake. So she might mimic a rattlesnake or a venomous snake, but she is non-venomous. Now, this spring, we're spending a lot more time outside. So my challenge for you all at home is when you're out and about, when you're walking around your neighborhood or going on a hike, take note of what you're seeing. You might be surprised that the snake that you saw might not be a garter snake. It could be a totally different species that you've never seen before. So catalog what you see. Be curious and don't be scared of these guys. Thank you so much for tuning into the Creature Feature today. We really appreciate it.